Look at all that gunk. Hello YouTubers, uh, welcome back to my channel and part 15 of my lathe restoration. I shouldn't really call it a restoration, I'm just giving this thing a, a good cleaning and uh, have to partly dismantle some of it. But anyway, down to the carriage like I mentioned, going to clean all this up. Who can use a good undercarriage cleaning, right fellas? That and the leech screw. And I think I'm also going to take this apart so I can just get in here and clean it. Could probably just get away with a, an oil, a good, a good oiling, which would be right in there. But since I've taken everything else, else apart, I might as well uh, do this. So let's get started. Um, I'm glad it's oiled, but it's also very sticky, so I'm glad I took this apart. So uh, let's get to cleaning. Channel's nice and clean, nice and shiny. All right, let's do the rest of this. It's a lot of threads. That is the result of all the gunk that came off of that lead screw. Delicious. All right. Well, I spent about an hour, a little over an hour cleaning this up and I'm really happy with the results. I made sure this channel was nice and clean and it's not 100%, 100% clean about 99. See, there's always these little areas that I miss. Uh, by the way, be careful when using chemicals. A little chemical leaked in the glove that I was using, and you can see my nail. Not only does this hurt, it's also a little bit discolored. I hope it doesn't fall off, because that would suck. In any case, uh, this lead screw is done. I went over it uh, to see if there's any wear. This is the part that's closest to this uh, to the chuck, which would get the most usage. And I think there's a tiny bit of, bit of wear on the threads, but nothing really too horrible. Uh, I actually thought it was worse, but it was so caked in with gunk and whatever, it made the threads look like they were worn out. But once I cleaned out in between the threads, everything looks really good. So, I am happy with that. And now on to the carriage.
All right, well, there she is, all cleaned up. Uh, for a second, I was debating taking this apart because I was worried about being able to get into all these little areas, and it was actually a pain to clean all these gears. Uh, I actually I had to go in with uh, this little pick and clean each one individually, but she is clean and dried. I'm just going to lube her up with some WD uh, just a little bit. Um, that cleaner leaves a white film on everything and I usually uh, wash it down with ammonia and even though I did that, uh, I just want to make sure that cleaner is really off of everything because uh, my finger, look at that, it's nasty. nasty. I don't want that happening to this lathe. So I'm going to lube her up and then uh, I think I'll try to install install this. Before I do install this, I had bought replacement washers, felt washers and these rubber, uh, I don't know what these are, but these go with them, um, rubber supports. So since, since this is off and upside down, I figured I'd change these out. Uh, these felt I didn't know how old they were or how worn they were and also with that cleaning and ammonia it probably the felt probably soaked everything up so I'm just going to remove these four and replace them with the new stuff. All right, this is all cleaned, and uh, I'm gonna put it, gonna put it back on the lathe. do well we got the lead screw bearing back in place we have the lead screw in place we have the saddle back on lead screw is in the gearbox right here and why don't we see if everything is working so far so that's engaged and I have 
put that in forward and why don't we give this a turn and then you could tell you could see the lead screw is turning you'll watch that so you can see that's turning now is our carriage moving and it is it's hard to tell that the carriage is moving this part is moving but it is a tiny tiny little increments and we'll switch it into reverse and the wheels should start turning the other way all right well another part of the lathe is completed just a few more details put on the tail stock put on the tool post and then we could start uh, talking about how we're going to power this you know what let me throw that stuff on now this is the compound rest assembly uh, and the carriage uh, I had mistakenly called this 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 whole thing the saddle this whole thing is the carriage assembly this top part here is what you would consider the saddle but this whole part here uh, along with the compound rest it consists of the carriage assembly so for all you newbies out there um, my mistake and we're gonna move forward so I'm gonna put this last part on Uh, before I put this on, I had put some oil down on all this so it would move nice and smooth. Even in here. So, that's on there. I'm going to put my tool holder in here just to see how everything lines up. I do have another handmade tool holder that uh, uh, a fellow YouTuber, Bob Mullins, made and sent it to me. And I'll probably use that once I'm turning. Well, there it is, the complete carriage assembly all together. Is that a lathe? I think it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And stay tuned, there's still more to do. I have to take care of the back pulley system and figure out how the motor mounts. I have to rewire that motor. Uh, the wires are shot on it, but she's really coming together. I'm getting close, getting real close. Evil Twin X signing off.